we're gonna make a guitar that sounds good and obviously gonna be indestructible as well. We would like to show that steel can actually be very, very strong and light at the same time. What I really liked about this project is that you put together a lot of different worlds of expertise. And then also we have our end user, which will be one of the world's best guitar players. We must be able to design a machine, a guitar, that is unsmashable in all the different ways of how you can smash a guitar. Well, I got my first guitar when I was five years old. And then when I was seven, I saw Jimi Hendrix smashing a guitar on, on TV. I thought it was cool. <laughs> it's this silly thing, really, but I thought it was cool. So as soon as I got another guitar, a better one than that, I guess it was about a half a year later, I would smash the other one up. And then when I get a bigger, better guitar than the second one, I would smash that one up. Every element had to be drawn from scratch. And we're confident that no guitar has ever been built this way before. So my task was to, it was to deliver the drawings for the engineers here. We chose to print the body of the guitar using additive manufacturing since it makes it possible to produce this kind of design. The material we chose was titanium since it's a really light and strong material. The benefit is that you can create completely new kinds of designs which isn't possible with conventional metal cutting today. The remaining powder after the printing will be reused for another print. It's always a lot more fun to create a guitar for a world-famous guitarist, especially for Yngwie Malmsteen, that is a childhood hero. The most important thing for me is the neck. It's the most important thing. The neck is the world's first one made of completely stainless steel. This fretboard is really demanding when it comes to machining because it's so thin. We are using our highest strength duplex stainless steels in together with a unique lightweight structure. So by using this, we have made the strongest and lightest structure ever. This, what we call a hub, is normally a part of the body. In this case, there is no real joint because we have unified parts of the body together with the neck to have it more rigid. So we are quite certain that this will hold a crash. No, I mean, I can tell they have a mindset that they want the absolute best result. They would put the work in, put the time in, so on. You know, which which I can relate to. I'm like that too. Of course, this guitar will be beaten a lot more by Ingrid Malmsteen that we can imagine, but I don't think he will succeed smashing this guitar. So I've been smashing guitars since I was seven years old. Yeah. It's utterly unique. It's a showstopper in terms of its eye-catching qualities. And I think a museum would be the right place for it eventually. Be nice to see. My style is actually a um, combination of, you know, playing really loud, a lot of marshals and stuff but more like a violin technique, you know, like Paganini on the guitar. I'm not, I'm not going to watch them do it. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I hope you know, he will not release the Fury. It's going to be um, very challenging. I like a challenge.
today is the day, and I really look forward to see Ingrid try to smash the guitar. For us, this is really cool to have the whole crowd here and to get them look at the guitar that we built together. I think that is a really nice thing. You have to remember that we are not any guitar makers. This is our first guitar ever. Well, to break it is impossible, but you can break other things with it. Really relieved we managed to create an unsmashable guitar. I, I gave everything I had, 200%. To break this, you're gonna hit something that's harder than that. What's harder than that? You know? A ship. <laughs> <laughs>